Hi folks, this is Panda again from Panda Outdoors. Sorry this is a long overdue video. Should have had it done last week for everybody, but I've been away on holiday and just haven't had a chance to get this video filmed. This is going to be the reveal of who won the uh, Mora Companion Knife that I've done on my 100 subscriber giveaway. If you don't remember what the knife was, this was the knife, okay. It's blue so you don't lose it, which I think is a good idea as well. Okay, good if you just want to keep it as a backup knife, something like that. So this is going to be the competition reveal. But first of all, I will go over what I've been up to today. So I've been down at the Buscraft show today. I got to meet some really good people. I got to meet Dustin from Bushcraft Tools on YouTube. Um, I managed to do a course with him. It was like a, a fish, um, cooking a fish over an open campfire, uh, which was really good, something really unique. I wouldn't have think, I wouldn't have ever thought of cooking in that way, especially a fish. And it was amazing, tasted unbelievable. And he had some fresh truffles that his dog Amber found, um, which made it even nicer. Also, I managed to have a quick chat with Mike from TI Outdoors as well. He, he was one of the reasons I've got into bushcraft and stuff like that, watching his channel. So it was nice to meet them. And as well, you know me, I like to shop around and see what kit I can buy. So I didn't come away empty-handed. So I was going to buy a new bushcraft knife. That was what I was going for. I had a budget of 50 to 60 pound in mind, and I managed to find one for that. Uh, it should have been 55 quid because I bought a couple of items, and so the brand new come with me, uh, the guy let me have it for 50 quid. So the knife that I got was called the Condor, Condor, Condor Tools and Knives. Okay, and I'll show you the knife. It come with a leather sheath. It's nice wooden handle which i like nice dark brown and um, and it is a full tang knife okay knife feels really good in the hand i was using it today to do a bit of battening down um while i was on the course with dustin and it seems to fare well here yeah, but i'll give it a proper good test and give it a review when i've tested it a bit more and as i say that coming at 50 pound which i thought it can't beat that especially when most of the other knives were 100 pound plus at the show so I think that was a really good bargain and also i managed to get myself an entrenching tool little shovel we've all seen these okay uh, they just fold out so they just fold out just like that and it's good to keep in your pack it's good to keep in the back of a four-wheel drive or something like that and um, so i thought i'm not gonna let that go for three pound um they are used ex-military, but for three pounds you can't complain. And then I spotted the holy grail of finds. I have been looking for a Lansky knife for my ABC carry for months and months. They've been sold out everywhere. Didn't know why. Got speaking to the guy who's running the store, and he told me, unfortunately, Lansky has stopped, uh, stopped making them, um, and they, they're no longer doing the Lansky world legal apparently. And they're stopping making the Lansky that I've just bought. It is the Lansky Madrock. Okay, so there's the box, as you can see. The Lansky Madrock, I think it's called. It's an orange knife. Again, it is an EDC carryable knife because the blade is under three inches. And it does lock away under its own steam. It doesn't have a locking. It doesn't lock, it just falls away with a little bit of pressure. And it's orange, so you can see it. Uh, you won't lose it, and it's got a nice little belt clip. So this will be replacing the EDC knife that I'm carrying at the moment, which I've made up with because I've been looking for one of these for a while because I've seen loads of reviews, and a couple of the people I know have them and said they are really good knives. So I'm over the moon that I got this. The holy grail of finds this weekend. Okay, so the shop that I got that from was called Springfields. Okay, there's the flyer. But what I will do is I will leave the link in the description below so you can um, you can click on it and give them a little look and see what other cool stuff they've got that may be for you. Also, while I was there, I got talking to some guys who work for another company. Uh, the flyer is Trueway Survival. Okay, so there's the flyer. 
true a survival these do bushcraft courses and stuff like that up and down the country um so i got chatting to them about that to try and book on one and um, while i was at their stand they had a few items for sale not loads they they were more about the bushcraft courses but i managed to get myself a hobo fishing set comes in this little bag okay a hobo fishing set it is a plastic one it's not wood um, but I thought it was a bit of fun. Got a little compass on the end. Uh, you can keep some tackle and bits and bobs in the end. It comes with this nice little caddy case. And then it also comes, I think I've managed to spill it all out when I was looking at it at the car. It also comes with this tin full of different fishing equipment. If you can see that. Okay, so you get one winder with line, you get one winder with hook line 12 pound you get 10 split shots four fishing weight 100 max beads 10 swivels two fishing floats two artificial baits and 40 assorted hooks okay so you can see just in there that's all the kit oh i've just dropped my weight that's all the kit that you get and i think that cost me 15 pound so i thought oh just leaning forward to get them that cost me £15, so I thought that was really good for the price. And as I say, sorry about me leaning forward, then you see me big head. I uh, just needed to pick up my shots, my shot weights. Uh, so that cost me £15. I might never catch on it, but it's a little bit of fun just to keep in your bag when you're out and about. And you never know, I might snag a fish and be able to do what I got uh, shown today off Dustin from Bushcraft Tools on how to cook and prepare the fish. So, bit of fun, and the guys who were on that stand were really nice. Also, when we were coming out, just as we were out to leave, I spotted a stand with some fat wood. I find it hard in the woodland that I go camping in to find fat wood. It's near impossible. So, I seen a chunk of fat wood, um, and it was three items for £4. I thought, I mean, yeah, I might as well buy it. I thought, a bit expensive for three pieces of wood. But I thought I might as well just buy it. And then as I went to pay the guy at the, the till, he told me it was actually, that was classed as one item. So I managed to snag these two little items as well with it. You got a little tin of char cloth. I know you can make it yourself, but I just thought it was a nice little keepsake while I was there. And you got this little tinder wadden that's coated in something. Uh, so I just thought they were just nice little keepsakes. Uh, you keep the tin and it'll just replenish my tinder pouch which i thought was really cool and then i managed to get this nice little satchel uh, for if i'm out just going for a walk in the woods or doing a bit of foraging because that's what i want to try and get into foraging um i thought that's just a nice little satchel to throw over my shoulder when i'm out and about in the woods so and that i think that cost me 10 pound so you can't argue with the price 10 pound was a bargain for that and that they were called wild kids adventure kits and i will leave a link to the description uh, i'll leave a link to their website in the description below but if you've not been to the bushcraft uh, show give it a go next year i am definitely camping it was the first year going so we just done a day trip but next year 100 percent i will be going to the to do the full weekend there the people were amazing everyone was friendly really helpful um got to meet some youtubers uh, as well who obviously i watch their channel and i've learned a lot from watching their channel it was good to meet them and um, so if you can make sure you try and get down there if you're able next year i'm definitely going to be camping and so is brownie and andy um so without further ado now i'm going to go over and do the reveal okay so i'm going to give these a shake give it a nice shake up and I'm going to do the reveal, okay? So, good luck to everyone. There is 12 entries, so I hope you are all ready, okay? If you don't win, I'm awful sorry. But when I hit 200 subscribers, I'll do another giveaway, and hopefully you can enter that. So, good luck. Again, before I, get, before I do the reveal, as soon as, I re give the, as soon as I draw the winner, this video will be posted. I'll put a link to my Instagram, and I... Uh, my email address in the description below so what i want you to do is just contact me either via email or via instagram instagram will probably be faster and i'll get back to you quicker 
um, just for shipping details, and I will get the knife out to you as soon as I can. Okay, so good luck, and here we go. Okay, so... Okay. So it is... Paul Turner Smith. Okay, Paul Turner Smith, if you can see that on the camera... You've just won yourself a more a knife. So if you can, just um, send us a message on Instagram and I'll get it back. I'll get straight back to you. Okay, just so you know, I no idea who that is, to be fair. Uh, I just see a little icon on YouTube. But so you know it is real. I'll pull out a couple more. You've got Anthony Parkinson. And I do know who Anthony is. How are you, mate? I hope you're great. And keep him well. Okay, we have got Northwest 4x4 and off-roading group. Greg, unlucky, mate. I know you were after that knife. Um, hopefully, I'll take you down to Military Mart and I'll show you where to get them anyway. Okay, there's more. I could be here all day pulling them out. I'll just do these last two. Sue, unfortunately, you didn't win a new cake cutter. And I'm awful sorry if you can see that. You didn't win a new cake cutter. I'm awful sorry. And the last one was... Four paws, two wheels. I'm awful sorry you never won the knife. Okay, so I'm glad you're enjoying these videos. And if you can, just give us a like and a subscribe. And stay tuned for the next one. Stay safe and I will see you outdoors. Bye now.